like and subscribe. An old friend of mine casually told me that he gets rid of underarm hair by yanking them out. What upsetting things have your friends told you casually? This were his exact words. I ate a kilo of pudding yesterday and I shat in the sandbox in the kindergarten's playground. We then went there and guy wasn't lying. Guy I knew was pretty good with women. Very good looking and an excellent flirt. I don't see women as people. Oh, uh, okay. When I was in my teens one of the guys in our group told us that he masturbates with hand sanitizer. I had a friend who was in a long distance relationship. I was talking to him once and he was like yeah I went to a bar and got to talking with the bartender. We hit it off well and I took her home and we banged. I was like. What about your girlfriend? Oh, the bartender doesn't really matter. No they didn't have an open relationship agreement or anything. I worked with a guy at a summer camp who thought every man lactated. He had a particularly heavy flow one day and went to see the first aider because he wasn't sure what to do as it was going through his shirt. She just came out into the main area and said, I need an adult. I don't remember the specifics of the conversation, but I do remember her saying you realize I'm not a doctor, right? Keep in mind this kid was like 15 and the first aider was just some 20 something college kid. He was able to shoot like 3 feet though, so that was fun. We have a saying back home. I'm the dog it just means you're just lazing around not doing anything productive. I said this when me and the boys were out having some drinks and they'd never heard it, so they were joking about stupid Canadian sayings. Then one of the guys who was pretty hammered at the time looks up from his beer and says with total honesty, I had a dog once. There was a long silence before we busted out laughing thinking he was just making a sick joke. Guy acts a bit hurt, like he'd just confided something in us and we were being assholes. Stopped hanging out with him after that. When I was younger I knew a guy who never had acne. We were at his house and talking about washing faces and stuff, he said he never did. Turns out he, supposedly, scraped at pimples with a butter knife to break them and used rubbing alcohol to dry them out and clean the clogged bore or whatever. Absolute. I'm Madman. As an extremely hairy dude, I'm already crying thinking about yanking all that out. I had to cut ties with a good friend of mine when I realized that he was attracted to underage girls. He is well into his 30s now and had been trying to slowly justify it by casually giving reasons why it's okay over several years of conversations. Yeah, I invited a friend to stay with me temporarily last year. My wife and my kid. He took my 7 year old from her bed at 3 am and asked her to come get in bed with him because he was scared of monsters. Fortunately my kid told him off and just went back to sleep. Woke up the next morning and came to wake us up and told us. He was gone that afternoon and that's the last I ever spoke to him. There were signs. I ignored them. Not really my friend, but a dude in my high school class years ago thought guys had periods too and only learned they didn't know it in like year 10th, dunno what that is in the US, turns out he passed a kidney stone thinking that periods were when you peed little stones and not blood. Bragging about cheating. Like, one this isn't something I need to know and two, it's only making me think less of you. There was also this one college roommate who started making some super pervy comments about an underage girl when we were watching a Nate's movie once. Every couple years I run a google search of his name. Not a friend but in school, a random guy in the class just sat next to me and pulled out his and told me I can masturbate three times in just 15 minutes. I actually did the same for like four years. One day, maybe 9th grade, my dad expresses his disgust at my armpit hair and asks why I don't take care of it. I tell him I don't have a machine and he says. For what? Grab it with your fingers and tug really fast, that's what I do. Be a man. Both my parents were watching me at this point, and I didn't wanna look like I was scared, so I did it. Toxic masculinity.
My dad just laughed and said go to the bathroom and finish up. I legit bled a bit. But it looked amazing. So I continued for like 4 years until I saw my dad trimming his using a machine. I work with a guy that told me he likes to credit card swipe his <laughs> crack and smell it. How you even respond to someone casually telling you that is beyond me. Pretty much out of the blue one day in high school during recess, my friend told me he once rubbed eucalyptus oil on his balls to get rid of an itch. He ended up in searing agony for about 15 minutes before he finally got the pun not intended balls to tell his dad what he'd done and to ask what to do to stop the pain. Let's just say that no one's appetite appreciated that story. A couple guys I knew came back home for a break from the marines and they were talking about how mentally damaging it is to be in certain situations and casually mentioned how he knew someone so desperate for sex that he would. Goats and that it sadly was not something unusual. I fully thought he was playing games with me, but they were so dead serious. Nothing he told me it was just something he used to do. He used to hard boil eggs and stick a straw in it, and literally would suck an egg. It was disgusting and everything smelled like eggs. He is also the same guy that would pull random deli meats out of his pocket and start eating. Full on sausages. WTF. He was a strange dude. I had a friend in high school who I was semi close with. We started out as interested in each other and it did not work out, so we were just friends and spoke occasionally. One day we happened to be having lunch together in the library, and she was telling me about this guy she was then dating, that I was cool with. Then she casually mentioned, that they were actually cousins. Now I have no idea, how closely related they were, but I was dumbfounded by how nonchalant she was about telling someone this, and not giving context. 7. Years later, Fasa book says Thea are still together. Confessed to using his right hand to rub his spunk into his belly after wank, wondering what hand everyone else uses. Like, hol up. I pluck my nose hairs out all the time. In your mid to late twenties a lot of dudes get nose and ear hairs like when a <laughs> old men. I have found that nose hairs are super easy to just pull out, and it is actually very satisfying idky. Lol. Same, but every so often one will make me cry and sneeze like mad. I have told people that I'll take, cleaned and sanitized, nail clippers and cut off a skin tag, mole, or an inflamed tasterbird. I had a wart on my foot once that I dug out. I once used a safety pin and pierced my air in class in high school. This kind of stuff does not it really bother me, but I usually get pretty freaked out looks if I mention it. Like 5 to 6 years or so ago, he told me over team speak that he scratches his inner ear using nail clippers, knives and screwdrivers. Literally 20 minutes later he couldn't tell why his ears were hurting slash inflamed. That he wipes his standing up. I'm a lifelong sitter and a chica. In case you don't know, a chica leans on one cheek, reaches around, and wipes their my brother, lord help him, is apparently an excavator. An excavator is reaching between your legs and wiping your Still abnormal but not the monstrosity of standing up and wiping. Now it is a common occurrence that we ask close friends how they wipe their And give them the entire rundown of different, but wrong, wiping styles. Till the way I wipe my Is referred to as an excavator. I cannot remember exactly what it was, but my friends who are dating were telling me and another friend about some weird they do when they are alone. Like cleaning their ears with each other's tongues. Honestly it must have been horrifying, because I can't remember exactly what it was. Anyways, me and the other friend looked at each other and then told them that they should probably never tell anyone else that ever. I do that. It doesn't hurt after a while. I twist the long hairs together and pull down, not straight out. Then I chase my terrified wife around the house with it. I have a friend who is a refugee from Iran. 
I say this, because her mother was 5 weeks pregnant with her, while getting waterboarded and other torture. That's the time the heart is still forming, and she has a pacifica now. Well, she casually said her pacifica stopped working 10 days before the bar exam, but she had no time to get that taken care of because she had to study. She passed the bar, got the new pacifica, and lived the WTF man. This happened in middle school years ago. I was up till 4am comforting my friend after her dog passed in her arms. Around 7.30 in the morning she called me laughing bc she was joking about her dog being dead, and she cannot believe I fell for it. Not upsetting, but kinda funny and unexpected, my friend casually mentioned that he jerks off with a finger in his, but during a thanksgiving dinner, like it was the only way to do it. Had a friend who had a headache once, and I told him to take a pill. Friend, asterisk I don't believe in M-E-D-I-C-A-T-I-O-N slash M-E-D-I-C-I-N-E asterisk. This would not have shocked me as much, if we had not just graduated from med school. I had a friend once tell me, that he would start taking as many people as possible to the grave with him, if he ever got cancer. Well better watch out then. He wants to invite friends for 5 course meal, and when they show up he will serve them 5 courses of mac and cheese using different flavor boosters that they have in Canada. Cold mac and cheese is the first course, as the pasta salad. Mac and cheese with the pasta water still in it, as a soup course. And for the finale, for dessert, he will serve mac and cheese with the cotton candy flavor booster. I do this with nipple hair r slash could you lie up sitting. I shave by tying my beard to a door handle, and slamming the door s slash. That if he's taking a shower after taking a he doesn't wipe. He has washes his in the shower. No one tell him about the waffle stomp. I think your friend is yanking your chain. Or your armpit hair. Why would he want to get rid of underarm hair is a real question. Is this some fashion thing I haven't heard of? More of a hygiene thing than fashion. He could be suffering from a form of OCD called trichotillomania. A compulsion to pull one's own hair out. A co-worker told us recently that his wife made him sleep outside when she was mad at him. Apparently she wouldn't let him come inside to a either so he in a litter box on the porch. Why he told us this? No clue. I remember once seeing my friend remove his toenails by biting them. Asterisk s-h-u-d-d-e-r-s asterisk. My closest friend told me that he jerks off and discharges his entire load in his underwear and lets it dry. He argued that it's nothing because he changes underwear every day. I was horrified to that extent that I was unable to mock him over his unhygienic attitude. A friend told me that he just comes on his mattress. He had a double bed and he'd come on the side he never slept on. A friend of mine's little cousin used to take a dump and then wad up a few pieces of toilet paper into a bowl. Instead of wiping his butt, he would cram the wadded up but toilet paper in between his butt cheeks and go throughout the day. He would later take the toilet paper out, and claim that was enough to clean his butt. You've been visited by the ghost of a very important man. Pay your respects by liking and subscribing, and he'll grant you three weeks of good luck. Three weeks of